Okay, uh, Carlos Correa. Hey, he's back. He's back with the Twins um, against all odds after the weirdest, one of the weirdest, no, no, the weirdest free agency saga that we've ever seen. Um, he's back. I guess it's not 100% official because he has to pass a physical, which has proven a little uh, dicey, but uh, assuming all goes through, he is back. He's back with the Twins. Six years, about $200 million with a bunch of like option years if he reaches certain um, 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 thresholds of at-bats. Um, so it could be a 10-year deal worth a little under 300. Um, the structure of the deal is the thing that really stands out to me as being great. It's, it's kind of ideal for both sides un, under the circumstances because obviously there's no... There's, I, I cannot wait for the for the press conference when, when they reintroduce Correa because the BS is going to be flying where it's like, Correa, oh, he, this is where I wanted to be all along. This is the deal I wanted all along. That's that's complete BS because he he, he was going to get he was going to get you know over three hundred million for sure. Um, originally, and then I forget what the the deal was with the Mets. Um, but uh, it's a it's a I think it's a great deal because it's really front loaded. Like he's going to be getting you know mid thirties the next you know several years it kind of tapers down and then these these extra years at the end are are much cheaper and of course salaries are just going up and up so you know 15 million or 10 million in 10 years for a player is going to be nothing that might be the minimum salary um so i think it's a so i think it's a real i think it's a great i think it's a great move to to bring him back like like obviously if if the, the, the physical thing baffles me because he's never really had injury issues, like nothing significant. And of course he was, he played last year. I think he was, I think he was hurt briefly early in the season, but uh, like he played most of the season and you know, this is, this is just such a rarity because usually like, you know, you hear about contracts and they got to, you know, pass the physical. That's usually just a formality. And here there, there's two teams that, you know, give them the money and then back out or, you know, whatever. It's very, it's very strange, but, uh, the saga is, is bizarre, but shockingly, Carlos Correa will be, continue to be a twin. I, I certainly spent all last year thinking it was, it was a absolute lock of all locks that he was just going to be here for the year in my defense. And in the defense of everyone else who believed that, I think that was going to be what happened. Like, like he signed with the Giants, like that was going to be, and, he's, and he signed for an enormous contract that we were never going to that, that we were never going to pay him. So, okay, like that's that's pretty much what was expected. But uh, you know, he's back, and I, I I never doubted that. Like when he would talk about how how he liked Minnesota, I'm sure I'm sure he did like Minnesota, and obviously if he hated Minnesota, he wouldn't even have been taking this deal. Um. It definitely like he, he's going to say that he was wanted. He never wanted to leave. He wanted to be here along. That's BS. He he definitely wanted to get the big money, the biggest money somewhere else that he could also win. I still don't think this makes the Twins much in the way of a, a World Series contender. They might they might be able to hold on now as a division contender. They still got a lot of work to do uh, on that pitching staff, but uh, it's a good de- it's a good deal. I'm glad and I'm glad they made it. And it's 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 kind of the. You know, it's similar to the Buxton deal. It's more expensive than the Buxton deal, but it's it's similar in that you know, you know, it's six for two hundred. But you didn't you didn't absolutely just you know, f- you know, fork over the whole franchise to one guy. Like this is this is not that bad of a deal. If he stay if he stays healthy for the next you know five or six years, this is a fantastic deal. And if if there's still something later, um, you know, beyond the six years, great. If, if you know if, if he if he's here for ten more years and is productive for all ten, that's fantastic. Um, you know he'll he'll have his he'll have his number retired up on the on the facade at Target Field. But uh, you know it's it's a it's a it's just a weird the weirdness of how we got to this point. Because um, you know the deal that we originally offered, you know where he took the giant deal instead. Like it, it was an offer for show. It was, what was it like 280 million for 
like 12 or 13 years. It was just for show because they knew they, he wasn't going to take it. I'm I'm really surprised that they, that they even took a deal this early in the off season. Still, it's still fairly early in the off season. You know, I mean, it was it was you know March when Correa signed last year. Now they had the the, the lockout, so it was a different situation. But um, you know, I think this is a good day for the Twins, um, and they don't have very many good days. So, not a lot, whole lot else to say. But it's 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 good to have Correa back. Obviously, this means also they'll have to figure out what where to put some some other guys that are coming up like Royce Lewis but uh or maybe they can trade somebody and tr- maybe trade them and get and get some pitching but um this was a this has been a shitty off season for the Twins they've been doing a lot of things that have just been beyond baffling to me and and a lot of just inaction and but this kind of saves the off season and and puts them back in a position where they you know they can go into 2023 at least at least planning to, to contend for the division. So that's good. Good job, Twins. I don't I don't give the Twins credit for much very often, and there's not a lot of reason to give them credit, but uh, good job on this one.